Alright everybody, welcome back to my Anime Rat channel, Get Anime. Today we're going to be reacting to Wonder Egg Priority Episode 6. Last episode we had Kawhi who brought up the point that those that they're trying to save in the group uh, might not actually want to be saved, that uh, they killed themselves, they had their reasons. Uh, many would consider those reasons to be selfish, some wouldn't, it's all about perspective I guess. Uh, I have my own opinions, you probably have yours. This series deals with a lot of uh, touchy subjects, I'd say. Bullying, child abuse, physical, mental uh, abuse of all kinds. Uh, we also had uh, near, uh, Nimu. Uh, she dealt with... Uh, the girl who was her own problem, uh, you see that with like the people who uh, turned to cutting themselves, uh, those who starved themselves to look better because they don't think that they look good themselves. Uh, and this was uh, the case with the person that she was trying to save, the actual boss, I guess you could say, monster. Uh, that she had overcome was herself, her ego, uh, her desire to constantly look beautiful uh, for society to, I guess, accept her. And it, I guess, drove her over the brink and she ended up committing suicide at some point. Uh, we also dealt with the group getting together in the arcade room, uh, wanting to basically relax and uh, it was a lighthearted moment. They had fun, got to know each other a little bit. That's where, uh, you know, I think that's when they bought the eggs at the end is when Kawhi spoke up about her thoughts. Uh, but in the end of the episode, uh, they all still went and bought eggs. They all still went and continued what they were doing, Kawhi included. So, we're going to continue to see them move forward now that we've got them grouped together, now that they're all on the same page. Uh, I'm hoping that they will um, basically start to figure out really what to do, where to go from here. Uh, because this whole reviving their friends from the dead thing seems to be more on the uh, notion that this is what they think is going to happen. Uh, I haven't heard from the guys that are actually running this that that's actually what's going to happen so who knows where it's actually headed and with that being said guys let's get on to the actual anime and see where the story brings us all right people Alright, starting off with the action as per usual, running from things. I love how every character is unique, every design is different. What is going on with him? Did he evolve? No. She got her, or it got her. Are you kidding? A single one of those is as strong as a boss? Well, of course you are. You're trying to save people, aren't you? That's what heroes do. And they put their life on the line, which is also what you're doing. What's the eye patch for? The eye. She's only scratched. It's not that bad. That was quick. Why? 
Why is she still on the bridge? Priority. So, the whole name of the show is because the egg is a priority. That's... Okay. In credits. I'm starting to really like the intro. It's really mellow. I'm actually surprised a lot more people are reacting to this, watching it, or even talking about it in any way. I had somebody create me an intro and an outro. Uh, the outro is not so great. I might have somebody else do another one. Uh, but it's something. Uh, let me know what y'all think about the intro in the comments down below if you don't mind. Punch drunk day. Wow. Are girls going to get drunk? Most important meal of the day. Yes. Just back to sleep. Yep. <laughs> I know people that say they're up when they're still in bed and they're not really up. So what's so special? Talk about what? Have they ever said how old she is? Like, is she 14, 15? I have to look that up later. They seem to really be pushing this future thing. So is she closer to 18? out you had a nightmare about kicking cones I guess okay how the system works and I'm pretty sure as the season goes on if it, we give a whole lot more episodes they'll continue to evolve are they getting gear what about suits Power Ranger outfits here we go Neck 
Nicholas's. How convenient he has just enough of them for them. Commanders? Is it like a pet or another person that's going to be like an assistant to them? The sidekick? I'm going to go with pet since they need imprinting. Almost like a mother. Ducks. Already. What's wrong? Exactly. She says that like all grumpy. Seriously? All at the same time? Yep. Aww. It's adorable! They're back again? Like in the same... Oh, wow. Okay, so haters are their favorites. So what happens if they evolve into something different? What if they go back into being uh, the original version? Do they just no longer care? And why are we back in this with her? Did we not solve this the last time? This is... Huh. Nobody understands. Nightmares? Oh. I figured it would be a whole ton of dead people in a hospital. What? It's the feeling? It's a ghost? Probably a ghost that she can see that nobody else can see. Yeah, that's what's so special. Even I got that earlier. And this is why she's upset. We're doing time skips, I guess. Did he do something and she figured out that they were right about him? Or are they about to get married? She's a, he's a relative, isn't he? 
So that can't be it. Maybe he's gonna live in? Here I'm guessing, and they're about to say it. Like I need to guess. Okay, I guess they're not family. I thought they were family. We are not okay with this. Why wouldn't she say anything? I mean, for Momo, that'd be exciting. But for I, if I knows what, how he really is, and he really is. <laughs> Dang, I, it's okay. You settle down. You don't know that. I want to say always. Wow, that's kind of offhand and mean. Momo's inability to see it, though, is ridiculous. Like, you can't just say something for a fact. You never know what people are really thinking or really like. In the trash can? Yep. No, I don't believe that either. But I do wonder if he's abusing Momo in some way. Momo knows and she just doesn't want to deal with it. Exactly. This is going to be a problem. Where's the lizard? Might. There's a key word here. I don't think I like some. No. I... Is 
exactly. That's a unique design. I love the designs of the bosses. They all look really unique and different. Like, this is something you... I don't think I've ever seen anything close to what these things look like. Gotta be honest, it doesn't seem like it takes a whole lot to make I really mad. It seems to happen in almost every episode. She should probably get counseling. I is messed up. This is really, she might end up in a hospital when she wakes from this. Not a fan of this either. And she can't really say anything because then that might complicate things with her mom. Mom obviously probably won't believe her. That's the case in most of these situations. She left Benny. The prayer beads. How are they there? What are you going to say? Oh, she's not hurt at all. That's weird. I don't understand. She should be pretty messed up because she took a pretty decent punch in the gut from that elephant chick. You didn't hear her? Why is she there? Is she lying to herself? Does she really like him? That'd be kind of awkward. Is she going to ask him if he had anything to do with her suicide? gonna say hmm all right just a little bit of a recap so our Team of Heroines here has gotten uh, new companions to help them along the way with uh, their journey to save their friends. Uh, each of them got a new little creature. Kawhi got a turtle. Uh, we got a couple of lizards. And then uh, a snake. And they seem to love eating haters. But... 
I'm wondering if that's the only thing to protect him from. And then I'm also wondering why uh, I didn't call it out to help her beat the boss at the end. Uh, they're there to help, right? Is it just for, like, the minions that uh, attack them throughout the uh, ordeal? Or what? Because maybe she forgot. And also there's the uh, bracelet that uh, I had at the end. Wasn't that the girls she was trying to help? So why didn't that disappear? And why was that with her in the end? Uh, is there something I'm missing? Maybe. Maybe that's actually eyes. I don't think it was because it came off the girl. And she used it as a weapon to basically illuminate uh, the area and make the ghost elephant chick visible so she could beat her. Uh, which, in a way, she didn't really do. She didn't actually kill her. She basically said, hey, I see you. And then she disappeared. Which is kind of odd in itself. But, oh well. Uh, they're still contemplating on if Sawaki is uh, not such a great guy or if he is Momo's on the fence that he is and they're all uh, crazy for thinking otherwise since that's her uncle and she actually enjoys the fact that uh, Ice Mom might actually get together with him and they could actually be family which uh, I understand completely but on the other hand, they're not so sure. The rest of the group isn't so sure that Momo is correct. Uh, I was thinking that maybe Momo was under his influence in some way. Uh, there are a lot of people who are abused like that that uh, just kind of give into it and see it as loving when in fact it is anything but. Uh, and at the end, I decided to go back to school um, I'm not sure if this is to question other students, maybe, to see what kind of character he really has, to keep a better eye on him herself, to see what he does, uh, if she really generally wants to go back to school. I don't see it as being a thing, but it could be. Um, or there is some other reason that I'm unaware of at the moment that's going to be explained later on in the series. Uh, the episode was uh, pretty good, and all in all, uh, I really enjoyed the uh, revealing of the little companions. That was kind of cool. I find it kind of, uh, uh, I forget what the word is, a coincidence, basically, that uh, there happens to be four girls and there's four of these amulets. Um, I don't know if maybe they just made them each themselves. So if there were five girls, they would have made five. That could have been a thing too. Just a little nitpick. The, the, there was like ten and he was like, hey, choose one. And they chose one. That to me would have been better. Uh, that being said, little girl. My cat is trying to break stuff. Uh... But with that being said, uh, let me know what y'all thought in the comments down below, and I will see y'all next time.